Hello, my name is Marco Castillo, and I'm an MBA student and fellow with the Center for Digital Strategies at the Tokyo School of Business at Dartmouth College. I'm here with John Bell, the Global Managing Director of 360 Digital Influence at Ogilvy. He's visiting Talk as part of the Bridge Technology Impact Series. Welcome to Talk, John, and thank you for being here. Thank you, Marco. It's great to be here. So my first question is going to be about the present. Can you tell us how global brands are now looking at social media? It's clear that we are not in the opening rounds. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. Uh, a lot of our uh, the brands we work with right now, global brands, are moving from the experimental phase into the operational phase of using social media, which means that they're trying to get more and more uh, return for their investment. They're trying to uh, operationalize, meaning make it more efficient uh, for them to deploy social programs across 40 markets in the world, not just in, in one or two. Uh, and uh, what's interesting is that I think it's caused a lot of unforeseen byproducts. Um, so these are uh, brands who are wrestling now with policy and governance rules about how uh, the brands and the people behind the brands express themselves in, in social media. Uh, it, quite frankly, it's demanding a, a new look at how we measure the impact of uh, social media or marketing and communications programs in general. Uh, and I also think it's um, challenged the organizational structure of a lot of enterprise brands because what's happening is it's calling for new uh, jobs, people who are managing uh, communities of people. There's no job pos position really f in, in most of the brands at least that uh, are out there now to have that. So this is a, a actually a great time. How do you measure success with social? What's interesting with social media and measurement is that I think intuitively most business people um, recognize the value of what any one of us would call engagement, right? Spending more time with a brand, interacting with a brand, offering more of myself to the brand because I'm commenting. And, and I think everyone believes intuitively that that's, that leads to a better relationship, um, loyalty, uh, quite frankly, more revenue, purchase, and so forth and so on. I think the challenge is that we just don't know how to value it, especially in relation to the heritage of other marketing and communications uh, channels or uh, techniques like advertising. And the truth is, all that other stuff is built on sand to begin with, you know? I mean, it's built upon uh, a kind of implicit agreement amongst marketers that a GRP, you know, a standard unit of measurement for television actually means something, you know? All it is is a proxy. Uh, for a previous type of marketing for which it was difficult to measure the impact directly on sales. So um, right now I think what we're finding is that in social media we have um, the same challenge we have with digital marketing in general. We have a, a huge plethora of data and now it's our, our uh, biggest challenge to kind of whittle it down to what are those key performance indicators or KPIs that actually are most indicative of things that do matter to business. Revenue growth, sales, uh, value creation, and things like that. Okay. You also mentioned talent, that there is a need for new talent in organizations and that the marketing departments are changing. So I was wondering, how is social reshaping the way organizations are deploying their marketing efforts? It's interesting, social media is demanding uh, some different skill sets uh, in the marketing communications um, teams that are out there today. We need people who are great community managers. We need people who understand some seemingly tactical things like search engine optimization, you know. Uh, and <clears throat> the most interesting thing for me at least is that when you look at how brands are investing in social media, they are under investing in training. Uh, yet everyone from the C-suite on down will say, we need to train our people, we need to transform our organization. And yet you look at the budgets that they're assigning to training to, to make that transformation happen and they are absolutely underspending. I think this year we're gonna see that change though. Oh. Uh, are there other mistakes that companies are doing with regards to social media? Well, social media is a very young 
kind of space. Um, we've been doing it for about seven years, six or seven years now, um, which is a long time, uh, all things considered. Uh, still, there are new lessons every day. I mean, there's a lot of the old lessons about um, you know brands who are not as who, or perhaps they're more tone deaf to the to the uh, conversations in the online space. The need to be authentic, uh, kind of a tired word, but still one with meaning. Um, I think that a lot of the current mistakes are about making an effort to figure out how to scale social media so it has a true business impact. So that's where so many brands are today. They're doing experiments. Some of them uncontrolled experiments done by different business units in different markets uh, without any uh, knowledge that they're all doing it. That type of English garden growth, if you will, that crazy growth, uncontrolled growth, will lead to tremendous disappointment at the C-suite level. They will look back on all this and say, and what did this do in terms of building value for the company? So now we're at the point now where uh, I think those uh, folks who see that, understand that, are trying to put policies in place, best practices in place, common measurement in place so that they can rally these experimenters around a single kind of vision and really get some business impact. My final question is about the future. So what themes do you see emerging in the coming years? I think that there are a few immediate things. I, like many of my colleagues, absolutely firmly believe that yes, this truly is the year of mobile. And what I mean by that is we've been saying that for years. Um, in most markets around the world, the year of mobile's already come and gone or con con gone and con continued forward. In North America though, I think what we're seeing is that business recognizes that by 2014 more people will access the internet via their mobile devices, whether they be an iPad or uh, Android phone or, or, or a simple phone, um, than, they, than the PC users out there. And starting today, there should not be a single web-based property for a brand that isn't automatically made available via mobile device, right? And, and I think we just still haven't crossed that bridge, but this year I think we will. Other trends I think are also um, fairly clear. Location-based marketing. I mean, location-based marketing is in, in its infancy. Um, we've just seen, uh, I think Groupon just uh, released a new feature now that basically allows me to kind of punch in where I'm at and then see all the offers that are in my vicinity. I think that's the kind of thing we're going to see more and more of. And then the th the, a little bit farther down the road, although it's already started, is the promise of um, social CRM, or which I, is turned into a bit of a buzz phrase. And what I mean by social CRM is that most brands, I think, are going to re-embrace how important it is to engage with their customer base, uh, quite frankly, their employees and other stakeholders in the organization. And through the kind of classic uh, disciplined use of, of CRM, build a, a personal profile, an ever-growing personal profile to better serve them, to drive them to advocacy, not just to drive them to repurchase. So we want our customers to tell other customers how great or not our products are or what needs to be improved. We want our employees um, prepped and ready to go out and tell their neighbors, their folks in their community, how strong the services are from the company. That's what I think is going to be a big deal um, starting even this year. John, on behalf of the Center for Digital Strategies, I would like to thank you again for speaking with us. I'm sure our listeners appreciate your thoughts and insights. This has been Marco Castillo for the Center of Digital Strategies at Talk School of Business. All right.